multiplayer 2 today is for Halloween and we've got a groovy emoticon and a pumpkin one and a ghost one and I can't even describe what that one is but it's 3000 points in the milestones there's three epics at the end of it that's a pretty massive reward for a very simple milestone objective and there's loads of cars there's the Hurricane, the Veneno, the Inferno, the Asparcal, the 570S, the Porsche 918 but these top five are incredible, let's go out in the Aspark I've just done my Elite Class S run in this car so use one gas already but you, to get 3000 points you, in a week you're not going to have to watch any adverts for this multiplayer 2 I normally wait till a bit later before starting because not many people will have raced yet it's slipstream is it ghost or is it KD slipstream don't be ghost ah oh. So I missed that jump in the disappointment realising it's ghost. A moment of sadness poured over me. So actually the Aspar Cow is the car you're going to want at the top. I'll check the rank rewards after. If there's nothing in the rank rewards, quite a strong boy. I can't hit that ramp. You go that way, I'll go this way. Let's check the rewards for position, the ranked rewards. Oh, there's tokens. More tokens than they normally give. But you need to get to the top 500 and then there's another epic and top 100 there's so I want to finish top 500 well I want to finish top 10 but I'm realistic okay let's do another race I might save my Aspar Cal fuel and do one in the Inferno I'm sat on a chair that's 120 years old. It's my gaming chair, my Parker Null. It's better than any of those silly gaming chairs that have been invented. It's so comfy. I've got to reupholster it soon though. It's still the original upholstery. The cushion that got destroyed probably 20 years ago. It was my great grandfather's, I believe. I'm going to go left. Watch the helicopter. I don't want to hit the barrel because of the helicopter. Good race. Four infernos beat three asparks. Use the Inferno again. I think because it's slipstream, it's going to be the Inferno in the Aspark. For all the races. Once, once you want to get position. But 3,000 points is going to take, what, two days, three days?
No, I missed the jump. Get in the normal line. <laughs> Clever. again in the inferno. I'm saving my ass bark for when the races get tougher. Oh, I just got an alert on my phone saying PS5s are being restocked. Woohoo! Let's get out and get one. No! <laughs> Went a bit wide at the end then. I'm actually feeling nervous now because I've wanted a PS5 for so long. And now the reason I'm anxious is the choice paralysis. I don't know whether I want the one with the disk drive or the one without the disk drive. I think it's about a hundred quid extra for having the disk drive in it. But I could probably, I've only got like seven games from the PS4 on disk. All the others were downloaded. Let's use the Aspark again. So I could buy the games again for the hundred pounds on the digital version. And discs are so fragile anyway. And the disk is the, on the PS2 and the PS3 and the PS4, the disk drive is the thing that always goes wrong. PS2s, the first batch of PS2s, none of them survived more than a year because the disk drive stopped working. My PS4 keeps ejecting the disk when it feels like it and then won't take a new disk. I want to be in a world free of disks. So I think I should just buy the digital version. And if I want one of the old PS4 games I've got on a disk, I can play it on my PS4 or I can buy it again, digital version, and still probably end up not spending as much money as if I buy the version with a disk drive. What, the, what else does it give you? I know I'm not going to watch Blu-rays on a PS5. I'm not going to put DVDs in. I don't even care that there's no game that I want. I want to play GTA 5 when it's optimized for the PS5, and I want to play GTA 6 in the whatever, however many numbers of years that comes out in. Get it! <laughs> Is that second or first? <laughs> that was close. Oh, I want that emoji. Can't wait for. GTA 6, but in my mind, people have talked about it being on the books, but I don't think it exists other than in people's heads. 
and it will take a long time to build it. So we're still years away, in my in my opinion, from GTA 6. There'll be GTA 5 online, re-released on the PS5, before we get GTA 6. If I get a PS5, what do I want to play on it? Is there any other game? Because I don't know. I'm going top route. I shouldn't though, because they're all going to go bottom and it's slipstream. It was silly of me. I should stay on there as well because I'll get the stream back. I should have just followed then. That was silly to take the loner route. Don't hit that traffic. Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's like the biggest traffic jam in all the game. The Aspark's acceleration though means it can actually recover from bad incidents. Oh, get round. Don't know how I won that race. I haven't turned my PS4 on for four or five months, maybe longer, and I'm still paying the subscription for the PlayStation Network. I think I went four years without turning my PlayStation on while still paying that in the past. It's like one day you want to play a game, you sign up to the PlayStation Network. Oh, where am I going? And then you turn the game off, four years pass, you haven't turned the console back on, but you've still been paying the subscription for those four years. That was me. I think I re-signed up to it to play Call of Duty online and then never played it. Oh, don't turn like that. Get that jump. Should follow him. He wrecked. <laughs> Actually got the other bottle. Damn, 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 damn. No! <laughs> Ooh. I think I started sweating. I really, I'm gonna do, I've got two more gas. Gonna go straight on. Oh no, don't do that. Don't give them too much strain.
Gonna let one go first. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, I lost all the positions on that last thing. <laughs> Fourth, that's all right. Let's keep going. Last gas. No! <laughs> that was fun. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you.